And joining us now to talk even more about this exciting time is Kevin Schulte, C. Firefly Future Systems Architect. Kevin, good morning. And you're not you're not on the moon right now. You're not flying around the moon. You're right here in Central Texas, huh? Yes, sir. I'm uh, here in Cedar Park, just north of Austin. How exciting is this for you guys to be such a huge part of what's going on? I mean, not just around the country, but universally like this is just it's incredible to me to even think about it quarter of a million miles away it, it, it's tremendous i mean it's it's an honor it's a privilege it's incredible to be trusted by nasa to take on a mission of this nature the firefly team of course is just just giddy like children you know getting to getting to engage with the universe in a completely new way for a whole new generation it's it's hard to describe can you kind of boil down uh, in layman terms, because obviously y'all are, you know, rocket scientists, but what it is that you all are going to be doing and what your spacecraft, your lunar lander will be doing uh, coming up here in the next couple of days? Uh, sure. So when we after we touch down, uh, we touch down really at the beginning of the lunar day. And because, you know, the moon takes a month to go around the Earth, a lunar day is about two weeks long. So we get two weeks of daylight. Um, and that's how long our mission will last on the surface. So we will get, you know, 14 days of operations with payloads, doing experiments on the surface regolith, even looking back at the Earth uh, with an X-ray telescope, looking at the Earth's magnetosphere and how it interacts with the sun. Um, and after, after those two weeks are over uh, and the sun starts to set on our lander and we start to power down, we'll take a look at sunrise and see some interesting phenomena that we're, we're hoping to capture on cameras with with the sun elevating dust on the lunar surface. So is it power, is it solar powered? Is that why it has to be the, the, during the lunar day or is it, how is it powered? Yep, yep. it's it's solar powered. So we're, we're, we're an autonomous vehicle, it's solar powered and and we live during the daylight hours. You know, it's, it's hard to take enough batteries with you to survive two weeks of total darkness, especially in abyssal cryogenic darkness. You know, it's, it's minus 250 in the shade. So that's a hard thing to survive. Wow. Yeah. Batteries go bad so quick here when it's oh, yeah. like freezing to imagine what it's like there. So what is how is this going to help your company in, in the future, not just your company, but also, you know, exploration in general? Yeah. So this is part of the Commercial Lunar Payload Services Program from NASA. And this is a forward leaning uh, effort to bring commercial industry into deeper space exploration and and prime the moon in general for a lunar economy. So the, the hope here and the, the great experiment that we're embarking on is building up the network of vendors like ourselves who can then go and create a sustainable lunar economy for NASA payloads, for commercial payloads, for, for sustained permanent presence on the lunar surface. Once it, your, your spacecraft takes off and comes back into the atmosphere, is there any concern with coming through the atmosphere, the heat shield, things like that? How does that work? So this spacecraft is actually going to stay on the surface of the moon. So, you know, once it's there, it's going to be there for, for, for the rest of time. You know, oh, we, uh, okay. we expect it'll, it'll survive, I don't know, probably 40,000 years before it completely deteriorates, but it's there forever. Uh, future missions, we might bring samples back, but that's not, that's not the plan for this mission. So you were literally just sending information back and forth. Yep, yep, yep. We've got a we've got a wonderful data link. You know, we're hoping to be able to get back uh, ten megabits per second. You know, good enough for HD live stream if we if we can manage it. How long will it live um, after those two weeks? I mean, does it die instantly after the sun goes down, or will it still stay up for a while? Can you still think you can still play with it for a while, or what? Uh, yeah, so we'll play with it for a while. Uh, it's it will survive probably about five hours into into sunset is the plan. Uh, so we'll be using that time to to get back as much data as we can. You know, it's 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 a gold mine of scientific data. So, you know, every every hour that the lander stays alive, we'll be we'll be blasting power through our radios to get all the data back to the Earth. And, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll be fortunate enough and, and be able to start up the next lunar day. But right now, the plan is that once the sun goes down and our batteries run out, that'll be that'll be the end of the mission. That, that, that was my next question. Is it, it is possible that that battery could go on in two weeks? And I mean, it could potentially continue to go on if you guys have plans for the next lunar days, just in case. It's possible, but it's not planned for. Um, it's, it's not a capability that we designed into it. Future missions, we will, we will absolutely attempt to survive the night. But it's, it's a huge cost driver to, to guarantee success on, on those two weeks. 
Well, that's exciting. Do you guys have anything coming up that you can talk about um, as far as future uh, ideas, thoughts, plans, hopes, uh, dreams for the company in the moon or beyond? Oh, yeah. I mean, this is the, just the first of, of three missions that we're on contract with for NASA. So we've got another lunar mission going to the far side next year. So we'll be, we'll be delivering a mission there along with a relay to communicate that data back. And then we've got a third mission taking a rover to the surface in 2028. So lots of incredible stuff coming up. And then, you know, who knows what the future of commercial, commercial space might look like on the moon. But I'm, I'm very certain that Firefly is going to be a, a, a leader in that.